Hello everyone. You find me this afternoon at the house at the seaside that Will and I sometimes come to. There's a chance that in the next few while we'll be coming here, or well, certainly will, shall be coming here a little more frequently because of various work things he's got coming up and a bit to do with the radio. And so I might come down a bit more often to spend some time here and with Will. But anyway, that's by the by. I just thought I'd explain to you why it looks a bit different than where I normally film from. Because I'm at the seaside, I thought it would be nice to head out for a walk along the beach. Will's not here yet. He's going to join me later. So um, I thought it would just be a nice opportunity to get out and stretch my legs and spend some time looking at the sea <laughs> and uh, generally relaxing. Uh, I've got nothing much on whilst I'm here. It's going to be one of those weekends where it's highly likely that it's going to rain. So I sort of, I really like being at the seaside in the rain. To me, that's, um, you know, that's all about, certainly it's quite chilly. So putting the fire on, reading country life, doing jigsaws or whatever. So I'm up for that. I'm up for a nice break. I've got a little bit of admin to do. Um, so I'll be still doing something that's I feel useful, but no real pressure. So I'm really looking forward to this weekend. It has been quite hectic since we got back from the UK or from Europe. So um, now is a nice opportunity to put my feet up and take it easy. However, uh, I couldn't just sit around doing nothing all day long, hence wanting to head out for a stroll. Uh, we've been here before, you know what the sea looks like, you know what beaches look like, but I might just give you a quick um, spin around so you can soak in the atmosphere yourself. I'm heading down towards the beach, which is there. <clears throat> and what's in front of me is a lake. Well, we sometimes go boating. So, climbed up in order to get to the track which leads down to the beach. You can see I've come up quite a way. It's not a very deep lake, so it's quite nice to boating on. Sort of interesting to me how much this landscape changes. Um, as we've mentioned before, normally we get to the beach by walking down there, but the lake is so high that path has been submerged. But you sort of walk down there and then you'd cross over sort of here. But now the entirety of this section of the beach is flooded too. So uh, yeah, it's ever sort of ever changing. And as I've mentioned before as well, sometimes this section of beach gets breached so that uh, the sea and lake water can intermingle. Um, so yeah, it's quite interesting how, how it changes, not just sort of seasonally, but depending on, I guess, what's happening in the wider hydrological picture. I don't know about you, but I absolutely love being by the seaside. Can you see that cool bird with a white eye? Let's us head up here over the dune and get a glimpse of the ocean.
we've decided to venture out since we're staying at the seaside to a place we've not been before. I'm going to pronounce it Nyarimalang, but who knows? It's an old farmstead and it's got apparently some nice footpaths. Um, so for context, this is the sort of area we're looking at and uh, this is what we hope to see. So I think we'll take a stroll, see what we can find. We stumbled across the old homestead. Quite a lot grander than our house. <laughs> It goes on there too. Ooh, nice chimney stacks. I gather you can go in there at certain times. It's a little museum in there. This is a, a tower with a water tank on it for um, gravity to be able to feed the taps. But can you see how this shed has been built into the legs of it? It's really cool. I'm assuming this is something to do with sheep. Some old farm buildings. Oh, the roof's almost as good as ours. On our wood store. Check out this building. Looks like a dairy. It's been quite a nice barn. In fairness, the construction isn't a million miles from the construction of our, our woodshed. This is huge though. Big enough for all these farm buggies. inside an old cottage very akin to how people would have lived. Master bedroom, we've just been in the laundry. Got a veranda. Sitting room. Oh, no. This fancy one has got a second bedroom. And uh, this is what we should be getting, an ice chest. You put your food in there, you put your block of ice in there, and uh, it keeps your food cold. It's an excellent idea. We should look on eBay to see if we can get one of these. I think it's a good idea.
up in the backwards processing wood. And I wanted to show you this. Isn't this pretty? Got this lovely yellow flower and more to come. And there's a couple of these dotted about. They're only sort of yay high, so just for scale. I don't know what it is. If I can find it, I'll flash it up, knowing my luck and knowing Australia. <laughs> this will turn out to be some sort of terrible pernicious weed that it's now incumbent upon me to destroy. Most pretty things seem to be that. Anyway, it's nice to start to see this sort of thing popping up on the forest floor. You may be able to see there's another one there appears to be a baby one coming up there. I noticed there was another one somewhere up there. So it's not like the forest was carpeted in this stuff. But it's very nice to see a bit of diversity up here anyway. Let's hang on. Hang on. <laughs> 